Hello and welcome to Just Events Online News at 9. I am Fatima Sediki for the news headline. I will not fail Nigerians. Tinubu reiterates tribunal to rule on Atiku Obi's petitions against Tinubu Wednesday. Federal government plans mining fair, pushes gold six minerals for revenue. Suspend planned two day warning strike. Federal government begs labor. DSS uncovers plan to stage violent protests in Nigeria. NMA cautions health workers against strikes. Taraba Varsity won't start against extorting students. Kaduna recruits 7,000 vigilantes to tackle banditry. NFF renews Pesiro Higu's contracts. Now, the news in details. President Bola Tinubu has reassured Nigerians of his determination not to fail the country in carrying out a permanent transformation of the nation's economy to an enduring prosperity. The president, who said that Nigeria is on the path of recovery, expressed confidence in the capacity of his cabinet members to rescue the country from the present economic quagmire. The presidential election petition court will on Wednesday, September 6, deliver judgment on petitions against the declaration of Ahmed Bola Tinubu as the winner of the February 25 presidential election. The tribunal at on August 1, 2023, received judgments on the petitions filed by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and Labour Party's Peter Obi. However, confirming the date, Registrar Court of Appeal, Umar Bangari, said that September 6 has been fixed for the judgment. The federal government, through the Ministry of Solid Minerals, plans to establish a solid minerals corporation, which will be a state-backed company to manage its minerals and provide funding in the mining sector. The Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Dele Alake, lamented the lack of access to funding for mining operators. According to him, the new company is strategic in helping the country revive the mining sector. The federal government has appealed to the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress to share its planned two-day warning strike slated to commence on Tuesday. The appeal was made on Monday by the Minister of Labour and Employment, Simon Lalong, in Abuja. He identified the reverse of the gains already made by federal government, among others, as the reason for the appeal, while promising to attend to the contending issues raised by the NLC holistically, if given some time to settle into the office. The Department of State Service on Monday said it has uncovered plans by some elements in part of the country to state violent protests. A statement issued by DSS Public Relations Officer Peter Afunaya said the violent protest aims to discredit the federal government and security agencies over sundry socio-economic matters. He noted that the service has identified the ringleaders of the plot and has sustained monitoring around them to deter them from plugging the country into anarchy. The Nigeria Medical Association President Uche Roland has cautioned fellow doctors against embarking on rebellious strikes. He noted that to build a progressive health sector would require health professional exercising restraints instead of going on strike each time they have issues with the government. He said his leadership of the NMA is key on building a progressive consensus for a better health sector. The management of the Taraba State University has one staff who has taught students under the guise of project supervision fees and project topics to desist. The management decried the increasing rate of extortion in the institution, warning that the school management would not hesitate to bring to book a lecturer court's extorting students. 
The Cardinal State Governor, Senator Ubasoni, has flagged off the training of 7,000 recruits for the Cardinal Vigilance Service to complement the effort of other security agencies to tackle kidnapping, armed robbery, and other related crimes in the state. The governor added that the recruits being trained were drawn from the 23 local government areas of the state. He noted that the recruitment became necessary because of the shortfall of regular security agencies and the battle to tackle security challenges across the state. The last on the news is sports. The Nigeria Football Federation has said Joseph Pesero will continue as Nigeria's coach. The NFF said in a statement that the 63-year-old will now lead Nigeria to the Africa Cup of Nations after his initial one-year contract ran out in July. He has been under the target of leading the Super Eagles to at least the semi-finals of the Africa Cup to be hosted by the Ivory Coast in January. to the end of the news. Here's a recap of the story. I will not fear Nigerians, Tinubu reiterates, Tribunal to rule on Atiku of his petitions against Tinubu Wednesday. Federal government plans mining firm pushes gold six minerals for revenue. Suspend plan two day one strike. Federal government begs neighbor. DSS uncovers plans to stage violent protests in Nigeria. NMA cautions health workers against strikes. Taraba Varsity wants to have against extorting students. Kaduna recruits 7,000 vigilantes to tackle banditry. NFF renews Percy Rohigo's contract. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News at 9. Remember, challenges peel you open. Do not shrink at the touch of its claws. For more news, visit www.justevensonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with the type of Just Events Online. You can also send us an email on justeventsonline.gmail.com. I am Fatima Siriki. Good night.